Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to change the tempo uh, within FL Studio and the second the topic is uh, how to change the time signature in the arrangement window so as you can see here there is a 3 by 4 time signature, 6 by 8 and 4 by 4 so we will see how to change and we will understand the difference between the three so the first one as you can see is uh, there is a sample here so let me play a part of it and I have already automated it so this is nearly 110 BPM now it's slowly progressing up so it's fast then again there is a slow down tempo here as you can see so how to do this so let me uh, mute this one for the time being so as you can see there is no change in tempo the same so the first one to do is you can choose anywhere you want like this just loop it and then right click on the tempo button and create automation clip so you will get it so as you can see there is a new automation clip so let, let me change this 110 firstly you need to change this tempo maybe to let me say 80 then from this 80 you need to copy the value of 80 then here click here and paste the value you repeat the same here paste the value now the tempo is slowed down now at the same time if you want this tempo maybe 100 why don't, why don't I write it here type in value just run 125 click enter then then after because I have already selected the loop region you need to create another automation then new automation clip here is created let me drag it here no I need 125 so this is I think by default 125 because I created it after writing 125 here so at the same is through here if I want to create maybe 140 here you just need to write here type in value firstly type in value 140 bits per minute enter then if you want to create a new tempo from bar 17 up to bar 24 you just need to right click here on the tempo and create automation clip a new automation clip for the tempo is created with 140 bits per minute so you don't need to mess with anything so another issue with this tempo is as you can see there is rashness so you need to smooth it okay so it smooths out the transition between 80 bits per minute and 125 bits per minute you just need to you know right click here you need to click here and then you click here and copy the value okay this lost bits per minute then click again here paste the value so as you can see even this is not smooth still so you just need to change to smooth okay. so it will transition smoothly from the slowest tempo to the highest tempo as you can see great right click here and then copy the value copy the value here copy then here paste the value so now automatically smooths so if you need to make it perfect there is a little bit change because we have been messed it so you can type the value type the value to 125 enter then copy the value okay copy the value and then paste the value here paste the value now this is 125 so another topic here is creating various um, time signature there is a 3-4 time signature here there is a 6-8 time signature 
and then there's four four there's seven eight so how, how can we create this one so let me play a sam the sample and show you the difference now another another issue that i did is here i also automated the vpn based on the type of the time signature so as you can see this is three four time signature so if you go to six eight So let me go for four. Looks like the same as for four. So how does it work? So how can we change this time signature? The first thing to do is let me create a new pattern. Okay, pattern. The name of the pattern. Let me make it three four pattern. Let me enter. Then create this one. Open the piano roller. Let me change the bar to 1 over 3 bits. As you can see, the bar is partitioned into 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is a 4 4 time signature. But I don't need 4 4 time signature here because I'm going to change it to 3 4 time signature. So to make it 3 4, you just go to this 1 and do time sig markers. Then add signature change. Okay, so you got you you got to change this to three from four. Accept it. So as you can see, one bit is left out. So there is one two three, one two three, one two three. That's done. Similarly, I created the bit here as you can see with three four time signature. There is one, two, three. One, two, three. So if you play it, the same is true for six eight time signature. Let me create another six eight time signature. Six eight. Drop it here. Double click or edit the pattern. Let me go to the kick, open pen roll. So as you can see here, one, two, three, four, because it's four four times signature. So you got to change it to six, eight times signature. So let me go to this down row, time markers, click add time signature change. And then you got to make this six the denominator will be 8 then I accept so the moment you create this 60 time signature as you can see one is left out and the other extra is created here ok so there is more bars inside a bar so there are 6 bits 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 6 bits per bar is that 6, 8 and the tempo is fast we have to change the bits per minute a little bit so as you can see i have already automated the tempo for six eight so based on this procedure i have created a pattern as you can see let me change to the kick one two three four five six to a bar have six bits so the feeling is different as you can see so this is 3-4 now this is 6-8 with the automated tempo as you can see it similarly I have created another pattern here and edited the time marker our time signature change I made it 4x4 four four. so as you can see you can accept it ok kick one two three four one two three four so this is four by four time signature the same is true for seven eight time signature so in seven eight time signature as you can see let me go to the kick again one two three 
four, five, six, seven bits are found within a bar. Now each bit will take A's note because this is seven, eight. So let me show you the difference for all of the three, four times signature. This is six eight, and then this is four four, almost similar to four four, but there are seven bits within a bar, four bits within a bar. Each bit within four four will take a quarter note, but each bit within seven it will take an eighth note. So that's it. That's how to make. A tempo change and the time signature change within FL Studio in the same project. Let me play it just to show you. Now it's progressing up. Let me disable this one, okay? Now it's progressing slowly, transitioning smoothly. Let me get progressing up smoothly thank you very much see you